Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to be talking about trailer hitches. Okay, um, these are very important to have. Most of us are driving trucks and uh, you're going to have to pull some trailers from time to time. And there is uh, so many different ways to do this. And uh, basically, um, there's kind of some one-stop shopping stuff that I've learned. I've, I've owned quite a few trailers, something like 14 trailers, 14 different trailers in the last... Uh, uh, 20 years, so I've, I've been through a, the gamut of trailers and hitches, and uh, there's a lot of variety out there. So we're going to cover some of this basics for you, and as well as show you what I think is the buy once and done and affordable and last you the rest of your life hitch setup that you can go with. So, um, but there are some different options. So we're going to kind of cover that. First off, many of you guys are probably very familiar with these these simple classic kind of hitches. Actually, I got a thing popping up here on my laptop. Let me turn that off. There we go. But your simple classic uh, Reese hitch, drop hitch, this is a three and a quarter inch drop hitch with a ball on it. They're about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, they work pretty decent. I'm not going to argue with them. They're simple, they're effective, and nobody steals them. That's the nice thing about them. So they're nice. Um, but the downside to them is uh, they're lower rating as far as weight capacity. I think these are 6,000 pound, I believe. 5,000. 5,000 pound capacity is what this can handle. And not that that's a bad thing for most people, but sometimes you get into bigger trailers, you need more. Or I would never want to be right at the limit of that. So if you're pulling a, a 4,500 pound trailer, I would not do it on that hitch. Not at all, personally. Um, even though it says it's rated for 5,000. But um, some people think of hitches as a very, you know, they want to spend four or five, six hundred dollars in a hitch. I'm not that guy. I, to me, a hitch just has to do its job, and I don't care about the rest of it. I want it functional, and that's all I need. I don't need it to be fancy. I don't need it to be made out of aluminum. I don't need all these fancy, I, I don't need all that. I just want to buy it, forget about it, and let it do its job. And uh, so that's kind of where some of these come into play. Now, you also have different size balls, okay? You have one and three quarter that a lot of people use for uh, like bike racks and stuff. Two inch is pretty much a standard. This is a two inch. Here's a two and uh, five eighths on here for your bigger stuff. My car hauler trailer requires a two and five eighths. Um, but my weight distribution hitches aren't here because I sold it with my camper, but I've shown you that in my camper videos, my equalizer four weight distribution hitch with a two and five sixteenths head. This one here has got a uh, two and five sixteenths and a two inch. The top one is two and five sixteenths, the bottom one is two inch. So you can kind of see the size difference in there. Um, but what you're looking for in a hitch is um, adjustability. Okay, that's the key thing. Without that, you have to have three or four of these. Okay, and they're only rated for 5,000 pounds. But you gotta have three or four of these for different heights and you have to change them out all the time. Kind of gets to be a pain in the butt. Um, you know, like I have my Cherokee Trailhawk, we have my wife's Ram 2500 diesel, and uh, we have four different trailers right now, and they all require different ele elevations uh, for where that hitch has to be. You need that, here's your car, here's your trailer, it's pouring rain out and it's dark, so I can't show you this right now, um, but uh, um, the hitch in the, tr or the car and the trailer have to be level. You don't, you see them going down the road where that trailer is tipped up like this, that's bad. Okay, that means they got the hitch set too high, or it's down like this, that's bad too. That means that the hitch is too low. You need that hitch to level out so that your tow vehicle and your trailer are actually even in height. That's where drop hitches come into play. These are drop hitches, okay? I've been using them forever. Um, they're very affordable. I've talked about them before. This one here is like a 5,000 pound rated one here too. All right, so your standard hitch, two inch receiver. This has got a two and five sixteenths ball on it, the bigger ball on this one. Okay, but this is it. It plugs right in, it's simple, but you can adjust up and down where you wanna put that at. And you can also adjust, I'll show you on the other one because it's cleaner. So let's go over here. Um, this one here is, well this one, is the same exact hitch you just saw, an adjustable one with a two inch ball. So I have one with a two inch, and I also have one, let's throw these out of the way for right now, I got too much crap on this bench and things that I'll talk about here in a minute for you. But so we have the same hitches right here, two and five eighths ball and a two inch ball, okay? And the difference is pretty interesting. Look at this, okay? Now this is actually set up for my, my cargo trailer, my pressure washing trailer on my Jeep Cher Cherokee. Look at how low that is. This is set up on my Ram 2500 diesel that we use to pull my car hauler home, my car hauler trailer home. And see the height difference of the balls. You get that adjustability, that's important. Otherwise, again, 
you can you only have one set position with this one and it's not good for either one of what I need. So you have to buy different ones for different heights in the standard fixed ones. These give you those options already. Okay, and they're real easy to adjust. You just pull the pins out of them. Let's take this one for example here, and you just pop the pins out and you can slide them up and down. Now you can also rotate this. I'll show you on this one here in a minute how that works. This one is kind of the ultimate for the money. This thing is dirt cheap when it comes to quality hitches, all right? Rated for 14,000 pounds. Both of these are 5,000 pound rated hitches, just like this is. So these here that you're seeing over here, these are all basically the same stuff. These are all basically a 5,000 pound hitch, which is gonna work for most people, okay? And these are like 40 bucks plus 15 bucks for the ball. So they're not expensive. I'll put links down below for these, but these max haul or max toe adjustable hitches, they're fantastic. Do they got a little rattle in them? Are they a little wiggly? Yeah, they are. You could put a buffer in there if you want to. Not much, but I don't care. I don't care. It's functional. It does everything I want to, and it's very easy to adjust. You simply pull the pins out right here. Once these pins are out of it, like this, you can take this and when you pull these out, you can now slide this, pull this one out too. Now I can slide this up and down that hitch wherever I need it to be. And if it doesn't work that way, I can tip this over and make it a rise instead of a drop and I can run it this way on here as well too. So I have all these different hitches in one hitch all at one time. Slide it where you want, put the pin in, Put the other pin in to make sure it's secure, and you're set. Drop your, your uh, um, just your retainer pins in, like that. Sorry, I'm having trouble here with my finger. I just cut it bad today. There we go. But that's it. Sweet, simple, and easy. And not very heavy, and very functional. So those hitches are incredible um, for your normal trailers. When you get into the heavier stuff, something like my car hauler out there, um, or something that's, you're going to start getting into six, seven, eight thousand pound trailers, tandem, or, you know, carrying capacity you're going to put on them, um, you know, car haulers, uh, tandem axle, construction trailers, snowmobile trailers that are up there, any of that kind of heavier stuff, when you get out of the realm of this, you can get into something like this, okay? This one is about 175 bucks, includes the ball set, everything with it. Um, it's made by Kurt. Kurt is amazing. Their quality is absolutely incredible. Um, I just bought this, but on the same note, I've actually had their previous model to this years ago, and uh, it worked fantastic. I ended up selling it with the truck when I got rid of it. But uh, So I knew that when I was ready to get a new one for this car hauler trailer, this would be the one I'd go with. Um, but it's also, notice there's no noise there. This has a rubber buffer pad inside of here, which I'll show you, which keeps that. So you don't get that little bit of rattle, okay? But again, you're talking about a $50 hitch versus a $175 hitch. But you gain a lot with this. This is 14,000 pound capacity, a two inch ball there, and a two and five sixteenths ball on the top. And it's reversible, and you have the same drop and rise capabilities. But this thing is amazing here. You got six inches of drop and five and a quarter inches of rise. Very similar to what you're getting out of this one. Actually, the holes almost line up perfectly, so you're almost identical in size to these. Okay, they're very, very similar. This one does give you two different slots if you want to bring the depth out, which is very similar to those. Most of these things are all pretty relatively about equal when you look at the distance from the ball. This one here, little, this one's not going to stick out as far as these do, but these drop hitches are all, um, you know, see, same here. This one's not going to, you know, these are going to stick out a little further than what this does. That's done on purpose because a lot of vehicles have bumpers and extension pieces and things that need to clear. But these two are about identical from ball height to here. You know, there you got, and here you got two extra slots. So it's kind of nice. Um, but these drop pitches give you that flexibility. This one, same concept as that, twin pin, pull the two retainer pins out, pull out the uh, holder pins. Now what's really nice about this one is you can also change this out for a uh, pinto hitch, which is ones where they, you know, bigger trucks use where they go in and they clip over the ring. Um, but you can put that in there. A lot of different kinds of setups that you can run in this and you only need to buy this piece not this piece. So nice feature when you have it. 
But this one here, you can see you get a lot more adjustment holes in it, so you can really fine tune that angle of that trailer. You got a double sided ball, which is fantastic, two inch, two and five sixteenths. And all you do, you set it on a hole you want it on, put it in there, where's the hole? Find a hole, it comes right through like that. Now that rubber bumper that's on there, on this one is nice. There's a rubber bumper that's mounted right inside of here, which is gonna take up some of that, sl that slop and noise in there. That slop is normal, because you have all these different adjustment holes. But this takes that up and gets rid of it, so you can push that in. There it is, set your pins in, and it is a, uh, a, a done deal. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Again, I gotta be careful of that finger. There we go. But uh, a very simple and easy concept that does everything you need for every trailer you have. So it's a very easy changeover. Not having to buy different setups and different balls and run with it. Now, what else is nice about all of these hitches right here, these three hitches that you're seeing, is that they are basically non-theft items, okay? When I put a hitch on my car, even on my Trailhawk, this one lives on there during the whole, for six months of the year while I'm pulling a pressure washer trailer. It's on there all the time. This one was on my Ram all the time with a two inch ball. I would just switch the ball out, which is a pain in the butt. You can see how hard that's wore out for me fighting with that. I hate changing balls out. You see how that's all shredded on that nut around there? That's because it's a pain in the butt to get these hitch balls on and off. You know, to swap this out of there, they're, they're a pain. So that's what makes this so nice. All I gotta do is pull the pins and flip it over for whichever trailer I want. That's definitely worth it. <clears throat> but the nice thing about these non-theft items, okay? This one probably too. Um, you, somebody's probably not gonna steal any of these. When they look at this, they don't think of it as a high dollar thing. You put those aluminum ones on there, aluminum drop hitches that are three, four, five hundred, six hundred dollars People that know that stuff, they want those. People, I know you're gonna say it. Well, you can put a locking pin on there. Okay, locking pins. The biggest joke I've ever seen made. Here's a locking pin. Here's one right here. Okay, this pin goes through here and locks it to your truck. Okay, locks it in there nice, got a key lock. There it is, gonna come in there, put that on there. Nobody's gonna be able to steal it. You're gonna be all good. Yes, nobody's gonna be able to steal it. Nobody's also gonna ever be able to take it off again until you figure out a way to cut these. Now, yes, this is not hard to cut through with a chop saw or with a, uh, a, die, a grinder, my, uh, one of these, which is how I have to take them off every single time, one of these angle grinders. But problem is on most cars trying to get into that area where this is going through that hitch pin to cut these off can be a nightmare. Okay, these things, I don't care if they're the rollover plastic, you know, they kind of have like the, the cover on here, like the Connors and the stuff like that. I don't care who makes it or what it is, they will fail after one year. You cannot plug this in, lock it, and expect after six or eight months of driving that that will come undone again. That lock is going to be seized, ruined, and gone, and this will not function anymore, and it will have to be cut off. So I'm not a fan even a little bit of these things anymore. I have tried every one of them on the market and every single one of them I've had to, I've had to literally cut off my vehicle. So I don't like them. They're not for me. So, but putting a hitch like these on here, which are inexpensive hitches, even this one at 175 bucks, again, think about what you're getting for that. 14,000 pound, double balls, the whole deal. But they're, they're not expensive enough where theft is going to be a major issue. All right, and uh, you could put them on and leave them on, which I like. I don't want to mess with this. I don't want to deal with it all the time. I want to throw it on the truck and leave it. I also like them being on the car because then if somebody hits me at a red light, or pull, if I'm parked in a parking lot and they pull in and they come in too close, they hit this before they hit the car. They damage theirs, but they're not touching mine. If they're that close from you know my bumper being right here, if they get this close to me, they shouldn't have been there. It's their fault. They, they should know better. Um, so that's, you know, I like having them on a car or on a, on a truck, on whatever. I want that hitch to stay there. I don't want to have to mess with it. I want to be able to walk over and go and take in a bow fishing boat and drop this, pull these pins and drop it down one slot. And then go, okay, I got to work tomorrow and take it and put it back to this position. I want real quick and easy for whatever trailer I'm using. Now, some of you guys are saying, I don't own multiple trailers. I only have one trailer. True. You maybe only have one trailer. Get a drop hitch, measure it, figure out one of these standard fixed ones that works for your thing, be done with it, you're fine. Then when you gotta buy another truck, you gotta do it again. When you buy a different car, you probably gotta do it again. With this, if you buy a new trailer, you gotta do it again. 
Okay, you go through these things like water because you've got to keep adjusting them. You're going to have a two inch, a three inch, a three and a quarter inch, a four inch, a six inch. You're going to have to have all these things to accommodate all that. This one or these do it all. Okay, the beauty of this is if you're pulling again heavier trailers, you get the two and five sixteenths ball. If you're just doing with two inch ball trailers, which are most of your five thousand and under pound ones, this one works fantastic. This this setup's great. So gives you some great options on there, but you can't go wrong with any of these. These drop style hitches work good for a reason. Okay, they, they have all that functionality and capability to them, and I'm a huge fan. Now, um, with that said, you know, like what about here? Could you put a, uh, you know, could you put that locking pin, if you wanted to, into here to prevent somebody from stealing this? Yes, you could. You could very easily take this, run it through there like that where that hole is, put it into here, and, uh, you know, run it right through that hole, get it, and then put that lock on and be set. That's not too bad because here, if that lock freezes up on you, this is pretty easy to cut off with a grinder. You can come right in here on the edge, snip that right off and pop it off. It's very easy. But when you're up underneath the truck and you got the chain links there and the metal tabs that the chains go to, and you got, you're trying to get in there and cut these off is an absolute nightmare on a lot of vehicles. So I wouldn't use it on my truck, but if you wanted to use it on here to prevent a little theft of the ball, you definitely could run that right, you know, run a hitch pin lock like this through there if you, you, decide, or you decided you wanted to. Can't beat the money though. Drop hitches, so glad I did it. It's been about eight years of using running drop hitches and I'll never go back to this style ever again. I just won't do it. It's just, there's no reason to. When you're gonna pay 25 bucks for that one, for 45 bucks you can have one of these and never need a hitch again. This one, if you're pulling heavy trailers, best there is out there that I've ever seen. It's quality, steel, and it's just amazing, and uh, it's going to work and do every single thing you want. It is a set it, forget it, adjust it when you need it, and never worry about it ever again. And that's what I like, and it's pretty affordably priced. Now, since we've covered hitches, and we've covered that stuff for you, a couple other little tips for you on trailers while we're on that stuff, because again, I've owned 14 of them, I've been through the ringer on all this kind of stuff, I, I know what I'm talking about with it. Um, when it comes to locking your trailer, if you're gonna lock it in your yard, the guy that just bought my seven x 14 cargo trailer I just sold, uh, he had his trailer stolen, his seven x 14 little wooden deck car, uh, you know, cheap cargo trailer, but he had his stolen, he needed, he bought mine to replace it. <clears throat> trailer theft is a big deal okay it is definitely a big deal in a lot of places uh, another guy that talked to me that called on that ad I put out for that lost his two he had a, uh, two jet skis on a trailer and they stole the trailer jet skis and everything there are ways to prevent theft for your trailers okay some of them um, people see you see these locks I'll show a picture of one that they go in and they go right into the coupler and it's a bolt over the top and they lock on or they're cast steel and they go in and they clamp in there um, those are kind of the joke in the industry because those are easy to knock off um, I don't care who makes it or if you spend 200 bucks on one you're gonna get a good one but these 25 and 30 dollar uh, coupler locks oh I, I mean if I come in here with this right here and I hit it with that hammer Boom! It's popping right off instantly. If they're the ones that if they're the ones that mount on the front, I just take the hammer, crack right on the front, and the cast shatters and they fall right off, and it's easy. So, not a fan of the hitch coupler locks like that. Honestly, this will do a better job for you. And this is just a little seven dollar uh, hitch pin lock that goes through the pin on there. Very simple and easy. And again, nice that if it does freeze up on you, these are easy to cut off of there, which yes, somebody could cut it off if they wanted to, but uh, just your simple little goes, you know, you put your clamp down, push this right through there, and uh, you can adjust it anywhere you want on there. I do like that it is water covered tight, but, uh, but you seal those right on there, those are nice. People can't knock this off. You can't, even if you were to break these tabs off on the end, it doesn't stop the part that's locked in there. So these are actually very hard to get past. Um, and so just closing your coupler lock and putting a coupler lock like this in there or any type is going to usually do way better than that ball coupler that goes into the set and then locks around it. Those don't work really well. Another option, you can go with something like this. These are not expensive, okay? They're 25 bucks for one. I'll put links down below for you, but they're like $25 for one of these, and then, uh, is that still recording on there? I wanna check that. Just did a weird thing, yes. 
Uh, these are boots for the for the legs of your trailer wheels, okay? Um, and now what's nice about these, like I said, about 25 bucks for one. I happened to find a special, so I got two of them for 35 bucks, so I wasn't gonna pass it up. I don't know if that deal's still available, but I will put a link for the single and the doubles on there. But these go right onto your trailer, and they clamp right on your wheel, and they lock. They're steel, okay, made out of metal. See, steel. And uh, what's nice is this can't drive. This leg is here, so if they try to pull away, it's not gonna, it won't go around. So this keeps it from driving. But these lock right into your rims and they hold on to there. What's nice about these, when you set this, they're adjustable. They have pinholes on here. So you can set it wherever you want, push the button in, and it locks. Now that is locked in that position. When you have a tire in here and this is locked, for them, not only when they look at it, they go, oh God, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to get off. That's a lot harder to get rid of this than it is those, those stupid little hitch carrier or in the, in the hitch, uh, or uh, the ball, you know what I'm talking about, the, um, the hitch ball locks, the coupler locks. This does a better job. Um, and then even with the tire on here, even if they try to pry these and get them off there, the tire just flexes when they try that. These are a lot harder to get off where, like I said, with those ones that will actually, they look like a hitch ball and they go into your receiver on your trailer and they got a drop down bar on the top of it or they fit in there and they clamp over the front of it and they're cast iron. I'll put some pictures here for you. But any one of those ones, like I said, all I need is this real quick, one hit, boom, and it comes right off. Or one hit sideways, smack, and it comes right off and it's game over. These are going to work a lot better than that. If you don't want to buy something like this, okay, or if you happen to have uh, like my, um, even on my trailer, my work trailer, my uh, PowerSoft washing trailer here that I have out here, you've seen in other videos, it's got a thin steel rim with a bunch of little holes in it. These won't go through those holes, okay? This will not go through those holes and lock that, but even when I put this on and clamp it tight to that tire, nobody, it's going around a rim, it's just not getting through a spoke, but it's going around. They couldn't drive with that if they wanted to. This thing would keep skirting, dragging, that wheel would lock up, it wouldn't go anywhere. So even on there, these would work fine. <coughs> um, those ones that I had there that I just showed you, these I'm taking with me to, when we go down to Georgia, to lock my car hauler trailer up in my yard. These will lock that up in there and keep it secure. And also when I do my hunting trip next week, um, I will have this on that hunting trailer, and again, it will lock that down for me and keep that secure so that nobody can take off. Another option if you don't want to go that route, cables, okay? Here's a six footer, here's a 30 footer. The six footer works perfect for tandem axle trailers. Tandem axle means you have two wheels on each side, so four wheels, okay, or more. But if you have two wheels on the same side of the trailer, six or eight foot cable works fantastic. If you have a single wheel on both sides, then you probably need a longer one, like a, probably a 15 foot or something like that. I happen to already own this 30 foot. This is what I used when we were camping uh, to lock my generator to my camper and having 30 feet meant I could push that generator out there far so we didn't hear it as well. So I had a 30 foot. I will put links to both of these. This is not expensive. I think this was like $35 for that 30 footer. And uh, I think it was like 15 bucks for this little six footer. So you're not talking a lot of money um, in these things, but what you can do with this at cable is you run it through the wheels. Okay, again, if it wasn't dark and raining, I'd show you because my two trailers that I have out there, this has always been my preferred method. So on my tandem axles, I take this and I feed it through the rim of one wheel, the other side through the rim of the other wheel, and I bring them together and I padlock them. Okay, that will keep those, those wheels cannot turn now. Nobody can steal your trailer. On a single axle, I use this one on my power washing trailer when we're gone. I will take this and feed one end through the hole in the rim. Okay, again, there's those little steel rims, but I will feed this through that hole and then I will wrap it through itself. So I feed it through there and I have enough slack to then go all the way up to the front of the trailer and around the frame up there. Either way, what that means is that means that that wheel cannot move. It may make one rotation and it's going to lock up that will lock that trailer as well also. So those are, are your best tips for that kind of stuff. Um, and again, I'll have links for this stuff below too. Make sure you also have trailer chucks. I don't care how good they are, or what kind you buy. These are cheap $6 Camco ones, but they work really good. But just something to chuck your trailer um, and keep it from moving when it's sitting there. And um, that's basically, uh, you know, make sure you got a couple extra hitch pins. They're dirt cheap. I'll have links for them below, but I always have these laying around. Not only do these work, on the hitch pin here 
for the actual goes into the trailer. They also work for these if I have to replace any of these ones uh, on the side. If they fall out or whatever, but any of these hitch pins here, they're all the same. So that's the beauty of it is it's real easy and I like having extra ones laying around. Um, so I, I buy extras of those. Like I said, I just bought some extra stuff. I just bought this hitch again um, and I knew exactly which one I wanted. Bought another one of these coupler deals right here too because these work incredible. And like I said, I think it's harder for somebody to steal a trailer with one of these in there keeping that coupler lock closed than it is those other ones out there. But then uh, the cable through the wheels or this, which like I said, 25 bucks, that's a heck of a deal and they work really good. So, and they'll also work on your car. If we buy a car in Georgia and we're gonna leave that car down there for, so when we're not there for six months of the year, we're gonna have a car sitting there, I will chuck these on, I will actually put these boots on two of the wheels and have it so they can't steal that car. You know, just to make it so nobody even tries to or attempts it. So, um, so great option. Uh, and that's basically all I got to show you. This is actually Vulcan, uh, Toe straps, this is because we do have that car hauler. We're gonna put the Jeep uh, Cherokee Trailhawk on that car hauling flatbed trailer and tow it with the Ram 2500 with this hitch. And these are my actual um, straps that I'm using to tow that down with. Vulcan makes incredible stuff. I've used their straps in my RV days all the time, or my uh, four wheeling days, but just good high quality, um, you know, these lock right to my uh, D-rings on the trailer, but lock the wheels down. Um, so I got a whole kit of that kind of stuff. Again, I'll put links below for you. That I will show you in another video sometime. If you're interested, I don't think there's a lot of people hauling cars around, so it's probably not something that you're interested in. So, but that's what you're seeing on the counter. That covers the hitches. There's a lot to it, but yet don't get overwhelmed. And I, again, don't spend a lot of money on this. In my opinion, I don't want to prove anything with some fancy, crazy hitch, okay? I'm not proud of my hitch. I don't need a three or $400 hitch. Like I said, I had an $1,100 hitch on that RV. I didn't care about it. It's not like I was like, oh God, this hitch is amazing. It was amazing, but it doesn't, I'm, I'm not impressed by that. There's other things I'd rather spend my money on. For 50 bucks, Either one of these will work for any of your 5,000 and under pound trailers and you'll buy it once and never worry about it for the rest of your life. And uh, if you're pulling more than 5,000 pounds occasionally, something like this will give you the capabilities of doing a two inch and a two and five sixteenths and handle pretty much everything you need um, until you get into the, to the RV stuff where you're gonna want weight distribution and weight control. But for just towing heavy weight, you know, equipment stuff, towing car haulers, tandem axles, you know, anything like that, this hitch, gold for the money you can't beat it and it, it'll it's a buy it once last you the rest of your life and never worry about it again hit so there's kind of the way it all works out and and again i mean i've done everything there are hitch extensions um give you an example here this in my snowmobiling days see if i can even pick it up i built this out of extensions in my snowmobiling days so that we could fit sleds in the back of the truck sticking out and also have a trailer attached. So this was my own concoction out of a Reese extension piece on there. But I mean, like I said, when I say I've spent so many years dealing with hitches, I'm not kidding around. I mean, I, I have tried every single thing out there. I've been through every, every possible combination there is. You can't beat this right here. And uh, like I said, forget those stupid coupler locks. They're, they're put a cable through the wheels. You know, these trucks are neat. I'm excited to try these. I have not got a lot of experience with them, but I've read a lot of reviews and I know a lot of people that do use them. They, in one of the places that I uh, had a contract with, used these on all their vehicles in their, uh, in their gate so nobody would steal them. And this is the stuff they, they used and recommended. So I thought I'd try them. But the cable lock through the wheels also works fantastic too. It's too complicated for somebody to mess with. But pretty much anybody that steals trailers knows those coupler locks. A simple hammer like this little, what is this, a three pound, two and a half pound hammer, one crack with this and that lock comes right off. You'll be better served with just running one of these on there than that is. So there you go, it's a video for you. I know it's not uh, for everybody, but if you're looking for this stuff, here you go, hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching.